This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What up folks, it's Alex here. How are you all doing? Very recently, I released my seamless zoom tool or magic zoom version three out into the wild. It's been downloaded a bunch of times. So thank you, thank you for downloading it. A special thanks to everyone that has also donated while downloading it. It's really, really appreciated. So double thumbs up to you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've linked the video and the actual download down in the description below so you can go and check it out for yourself. But I figured I'd hop on for a real quick video today just to give you another quick example, a quick demo of how quick and easy this tool is to use, as well as giving you a few other examples of some less obvious uses for the Seamless Zoom, the Magic Zoom tool. So let's just open it up. I'll give you a real quick demo, a basic standard demo of how it works initially on a talking head, and then we'll jump into some slightly more interesting examples. So here we are on the edit page. So first things first, in the effects library, go to effects, grab the adjustment clip, plonk that on your timeline like so, then go to the Mr. Alex Tech folder and grab your Magic Zoom version three and pop that on the adjustment clip. Now for talking head videos, I just like it to emphasize something or make sure that you've got people's attention, change the framing a little bit, that sort of thing. By default, if we hit play, it's just gonna do a nice smooth zoom in and then a nice smooth zoom out at the end. To change where you're zooming into, underneath your preview window, click this little drop down, turn on the fusion overlay, and then you just move a little overlay to the point you want to zoom into. So I'm gonna go right in between my eyes. And there we go. In the inspector, effects, we've got all of the controls within here so we can change the zoom, the speed, all that sort of fun stuff. That is how it works in a nutshell. Super quick additional tip. In the main video, which is linked below, I showed you how to save these as proper presets. But if you don't want to do that, you don't want to go through all of that, you just want to make a preset for this particular project. If you've made any changes, let's say you've changed all this and you want to just have access to this version of Magic Zoom really quickly, give it a click on your timeline, the adjustment clip. In the inspector, go to file and then you can give this a name. So I'm just going to call this one Magic Zoom for this project or whatever. And then we just grab the adjustment clip from our timeline and plunk it in to our media pool. Now I can delete this one off the timeline. And then whenever I want this exact one, I can grab it from my media pool, put it down here, and off we go. You could even then put this into a power bin so it's available from every project. Right, back to the examples. Way cool. What about some slightly more interesting use cases? So you can actually stack the Magic Zoom tool as well. So I want to give you this example. So here we've got me plundering through this mud, and then I start talking to camera. So I'm going to grab a new adjustment clip and then we're going to grab a new version of the Magic Zoom and put this on here. Now, I think a few people were a little bit curious as to why we have zoom and hold and hold and zoom out. So the idea behind this is let's use a hold and zoom out. So if this was a hard cut, this was a new scene, it would look like this is the framing. So everyone would think that this is the framing of the shot. But actually, when I started talking, it would zoom out to reveal a bit more of the frame. And it's just a nice, almost like a little surprise dynamic change. Just get a bit more context and it just kind of works. It just adds a little bit of something, something to it. So that's why I built this hold and zoom. Now what you can do, let's just move this over here. I want to lengthen this out a little bit. So again, brand new shot. Everyone's going to think that this is the framing. As I start walking into the mud, we can actually start to layer these to get different sort of looks. So I'm going to grab this adjustment clip on the timeline, hold alt, drag up to make a duplicate. This version I'm going to change to mirror and I'm going to keep the framing the same. So everyone thinks that this is the framing of the actual shot. And then as I sort of step over the log, we're going to zoom in a little bit more and I walk over into the mud and then I sort of start talking. So we're going to zoom out again. People think this is the original framing, but actually there's a secret one more zoom out like so. Next up, product shots. So this is why I added the panning, the path to it. So this is just a static locked off shot of the laptop. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this one, save having to make it every single time. And then let's just reset it back to as it was. Now I'm gonna jump straight into number six because number six has got our pan. So if we hit play, it's gonna do a slow zoom in, pan all the way across, and then it will zoom out at the end. Now what you can start to do with these a, that kind of works anyway. Ignore that jump. That's because we've got a cut in the in between these two clips. Now, I also wanted these to be kind of like Lego. You can just stack them up. You can build blocks. 
So this one, it zooms in, it pans, and then it zooms out because it's a mirror. What I'm actually gonna do is change this to be a zoom and hold. And what that's going to do is zoom in, do the pan, and then when it gets to the end, it's gonna stop and it's not gonna zoom out. It's just gonna do a hard cut. Now, let's say that we also wanted to hold for a little bit longer. So we want to keep the zoom, but we want to stop the pan. What we can do is grab this adjustment clip, let's duplicate it once again, give it a click, we're gonna change this now to the opposite, the hold and zoom out. Now at the moment, it's still got the pan on there. So what we want to do is just double click on pivot to reset the pivot, but you still see the path. So this is the end point over here. So what we're gonna do is grab our center point, pop it right on this point here, like so. Mainly to just tweak that a little bit. And what's gonna happen is this first adjustment clip is gonna zoom in, it's gonna pan, it's gonna get here, and then it's gonna stop. And it's gonna to jump to our next one, which is already in that right position. That's just gonna hold, and then right at the end, we can zoom out. So it's almost modular. You can start to combine the zoom and hold with the hold and zoom out. One has a path on it, one doesn't. You can build this up so you hold in certain positions, have panning on one, panning on the other. Hopefully that made sense. What always makes sense is this video sponsor, Squarespace. If you're looking for a professional, sleek, easy to manage website, Squarespace has you covered. And you don't need any coding or design knowledge. They have an awesome selection of templates for you to choose from. And then it's simply a case of dragging and dropping from that online editor. It's super easy, super simple, super quick. So whether you're looking to showcase your work, start an online business, grow your online presence, or even open a store, Squarespace has all the tools you need. Blogs, online stores, marketing, and now even scheduling tools. So if you fancy checking out Squarespace for yourself, simply head over to squarespace.com right now to start your free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Mr. Alex Tech and use the code Mr. Alex Tech to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. It's that easy. Well, hey, right, let's get back to another example and that's how I create these very videos using the magic zoom tool for tutorials. This one's going to be mirror and let's just go right to the top right hand corner and give it a good old zoom. So now when it gets to that point, it zooms in to showcase what's going on in this top right hand corner like so. Now at the point where you want to change this, what you need to do, let's just shorten this down. We're gonna duplicate it once again and you want to stack them with just a little bit of overlay like so. And then on this second one, let's move the pivot. So over to the far left and hit play. And it's gonna do that. So at the moment it's zooming out and then zooming back in, which means we need a bit more overlap. So let's move this to the left a little bit. I'm just using my comma key to move left and I can use full stop to move right. And you just need to tweak this until you get a nice smooth pan. So that looks about right. So we're moving from left to right. Then all we do on this second one, put the playhead right at the point where the first one ends and then hit M on your keyboard to add a marker to this adjustment clip. And that's it. So once you've done that, then you can just duplicate this, line the end up with the marker. On this third one, let's say we're gonna go right into the monkey, full zoom, and then if we hit play. We know it's gonna be super smooth. Do it once, use the marker, and then you're good to go. That's actually how I build all of these videos that you're watching right now. And my last example, picture in picture. So for this one here, I've got a screen recording underneath and then just my head talking on top like so. Now this is one of the examples where you want to actually apply the effect directly to the clip rather than using an adjustment clip. So what we're gonna do, at the point where I want to turn me talking into a picture in picture effect, we're gonna do a cut and then find the point where we want to return back to a full face cam, do another cut like so, then grab magic zoom and put it on this center area here. In the inspector, you should be on one by default, make sure you're on mirror, and by default obviously it's gonna zoom in. All we need to do is we zoom out instead, so change the zoom scale to out, then put the pivot wherever you want it, so I'm gonna put this in the top right hand corner, and now what's gonna happen, when it's here it's gonna play through as normal, when it gets to the cut, gonna zoom out, put us in the, the whatever position we wanted it to be, and then when it gets to the end, mirror it, and off we go. Now you can move this edit point wherever you want it. So if you need to make any changes, you can, you just drag this edit point on your timeline, bibbing, you'll never have any issues, 
and off you go. Again, add some camera shake, add some motion blur, mess around with the easing if you want to. You could even add a path to do some crazy stuff with it. And that's it, just a couple of examples to get you up and running. If you're new here, maybe hit subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up. And if you've not seen any of my presets before, I also have another one called Magic Animate, which if you like my Magic Zoom, you're going to love Magic Animate. So check that one out as well. Thanks for watching, folks. Take it easy. <sighs> I'll see you later.